Hi, Nisha. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? It's so lovely to meet you. And I have to say, congratulations on the high note. I think that these kind of music filled, uplifting movies are exactly what we need right now. Oh, good. I hope so. I, I feel the same way. <laughs> You've got such a fantastic um, cast to work with in this movie between Dakota Johnson, Tracy Ellis Ross, Kelvin Harrison Jr. and of course Ice Cube. I was wondering if any of their performances kind of took you by surprise. Maybe they went in directions that you didn't even expect them to go in. Um, Ice Cube definitely uh, took me by surprise in a, in a great way. Like I think he's got such an insider view on the industry that he would always say the lines that were written, but then he would improvise stuff that we were just dying and in, in, in stitches because he would say things that none of us could possibly know, but he's such a, a seasoned pro and producer that he knew stuff we didn't know and would bring an extra little bit of fun and um, insider, I think, joy to his lines. Um, and Tracy Ellis Ross really surprised me with her voice and her ability to sing. I mean, she sort of held back and said, okay, you know, if you don't like how I sing, then we can do these other things. But, you know, she was sort of, um, I think, nervous about it. And then when we heard her voice for the first time, Rodney Jerkins and I just really looked at each other like, oh, we're fine. We don't need to do all our, our crazy tricks. We can just record her singing. And that was really beautiful and surprising that all of the cast is so talented and can sing. Um, yeah, I was reading about that, actually, how um, you did, you know, allow for a space for improv. Were there any particular kind of moments or scenes that came out of that process that you loved? I think, well, the Diplo scene is almost entirely improv. <laughs> that was a little <laughs> bit crazy. He had a lot of really fun uh, moments and he's it's just a naturally funny person. So trying to capture all that together. Um, she and Diane Raphael is hilarious. And I think most of her scene by the pool was her improvisation. <laughs> Um, and also that whole scene with her and Tracy right before um, Tracy goes to Catalina, she's sitting there with um, Jean and Diane and that was another mostly improvised scene um, that we realized we needed kind of at the last minute and the Flora wrote um, some really great lines in there and then the actresses really, really had a lot of fun time around it. I think that um, thanks to your direction and really tra Tracy's performance, Grace Davis has kind of become something of an icon on the screen. And yes. I think I personally, and I'd say a lot of people after seeing this would love to see her story in particular, but all the characters really continue. Have you thought of any ideas for like a sequel or if there could be a kind of continuation of the story? Um, I haven't really thought of sequel ideas. I could talk to Flora, but I did... Someone was just talking about a musical and I was like, oh, what if we did the Mean Girls thing and did a musical based on the movie? And then I went back and did another movie based on that musical <laughs> and just kept it going. Maybe the Hairspray That could journey. definitely work. Right? Yeah, there could be a cool musical based on it. If we're allowed to go to musicals again anytime in the future. <laughs> If, uh, yeah, but then you have a couple of years to develop it, like behind the scenes. That's what these times are for, you know? That's true. I know. I'm actually kind of excited about all the great TV and film that's going to come out after um, after this period of incubation that all these great artists and writers have had. And in the meantime, you know, we can visit like movies like this and even movies of the past, because obviously when I was watching this, I was thinking of your last uh, feature, Late Night, and how, oh. you know, both movies, they followed these you know, I just thought it was interesting that they shared in common that they have these middle-aged women who are just trying to get by and trying to like forge their own path in these like such male-dominated industries. And were you thinking about that link between them, like as you were directing both movies or do you still see them as separate entities or are they connected? I mean, they're definitely connected in the sense that it's two really strong women who are really good at what they do, who are unapologetic about it and being told by their powers that be that they've become irrelevant and they are absolutely stunned and don't know why, you know, and nor should they be. So I think those, those messages of ageism and sexism are really important in both movies and are, you know, important to address head on so that we can, um, you know, stop it already <laughs> because it's not, it's not uh, an okay thing. And it's so stunning to hear Tracy's character say, in the history of music, there have only been five women over the age of 40 with a number one hit and only one of them was black. And that is absolutely a true statistic. And it's not, um, it's not, it's not right, you know? So I think 
And ideally this movie kind of brings up those points and um, encourages women to, to help each other and to um, be each other's allies and, and help us break into the industry because the more we have diversity in the industry and different voices, the more um, it's gonna be accepted to do things like turn 41 and, <laughs> and you know, have children and, um, you know, still be able to be valued as an artist, even though you've dared to do those things that are unacceptable in these fields. <laughs> Well, I think I'm out of time, unfortunately, Nisha. I'd love to talk to you about oh. the movie more and especially some of the things that you brought up there. But we'll just have to, you know, see how the high note plays out. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you explore these themes in the next movies as well. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to it too. And thanks for your nice words about the movie.